Hey guys, we'll be installing a new short throw shifter with a new shift knob, carbon fiber, and some new polyurethane bushings for this 2000 Honda Civic SI. And the reason why we're doing this is if you look, here's what neutral looks like, but here's first. It's just super sloppy. So we're gonna try to clean up uh, not only the look, but the function of this uh, shifter in the Civic. All right, here is our dual bend short shifter. You can see it's a short shifter because they move the fulcrum up this so you can it reduces your range of motion. We got some polyurethane bushings. We have a shift boot retainer and of course the piece of resistance. We got this carbon fiber shift knob from SubiFlow. It comes with some adapters to fit on whatever thread you need. Great company. And yeah, we got a carbon fiber shift knob. We'll be putting this all in the Civic today. And make sure you have some spare zip ties laying around because you will need to zip tie the boot to the shift boot retainer uh, once you're done with the car. But yep, this is all you need for this. All right, so the first step in this whole process is you need to twist the shift knob off so we can expose everything else. And we can, once we get all the screws out from here, we can lift it over the shift knob. But yeah, unscrew this. Uh, it might be pretty tough because it's old, but yeah, just find some way to screw that off without tearing your boot. All right, so now we got the shift knob off. It was, you had to, we had to use a pipe wrench, but whatever. Um, we already removed the screws just to test out what the interior looked like, but yeah, you want to remove one, two, see if we can find the other ones, three, four, and then there's one really deep in there. Let's see if he can show you where it's yeah get all of those out it's the same for the other one just unscrew them and then you can kind of rip off this piece and then rip this off kind of exposing what's underneath like this and this is what you want to see and then the next set of steps will be from the bottom of the car and you want to get yourself a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter socket all right now we are under the car and the first thing that we are going to remove is this nut and it is a 12 millimeter and once this comes out then we can pull this out of the way but yeah just remove this one first next thing you want to do these are both 12 millimeters loosen these bolts uh, to remove this part and then these two inside this plate are 10 millimeters and you'll need to undo that to get the uh, shift knob out. All right, after reviewing the video, I forgot to mention when you're pulling out the rod, so once you disconnect everything down there with the 10 and the 12s, you do need to take out um, this 12 millimeter to take basically this whole rod out to start putting in your polyurethane bushings and the short shifter. But yeah, that's a 12 millimeter. Just undo this bolt and you can kind of take this whole rod out um, and then start putting in those bushings. But yeah, the bushings do look pretty good uh, compared to those old worn out rubber ones. All right, so we ended up having to remove the bolt that was connected to the transmission from this side. And this is the new bushing for it. So what you want to do is kind of squish this and like push it through and then put this one in and we'll do a time lapse of us doing it. But yeah, this one was connected towards the front of the car. Couldn't really film it, but we'll show you where it goes back in. And then we also have to remove uh, this out from here with the two 10 mils on the top. Okay, so the time lapse, we tried everything. Ultimately, what led to the success was squeezing it on two sides with this. Um, that's what ultimately led. For, this thing is just kind of tricky to get in, but yeah, just get two, two, two pairs. Two channel lock pliers. Yeah, so. All right, here's the old rubber bushing on the other side of the rod. 
here's a polyurethane one so you want to do is get these metal pieces out put them in here and then attach the metal piece to the top of this and then reinstall back on the uh, rod. So here's the short shifter. You can see how the difference in how high the weight is above this one. Um, so all you have to do is take off this and then off the bottom and then put it on here and then reinstall it back into this thing. And yeah, that's so that we next. have the polyurethane bushings on both sides. And this in, we're gonna now put this back under the car. First thing we're gonna do is put the bolt back through this and then get this part reattached. So then we can drop the boot over and get the shift knob on. All right, this is what the finished product looks like underneath. So here's the nice red polyurethane bushing. And then if you look back there, there's the other red one. Uh, and then the short shifter is in there too. But yeah, this is kind of what the whole, the whole, uh, assembly looks like once you have completely installed it uh, again this is what it looks like from the bottom and before you say anything i know this thing is leaking oil and we plan to do an engine rebuild kind of over the summer but yeah this is what it all looks like when it's fully completed all right we've now reinstalled pretty much everything like we just the reverse reverse order of how we took it apart and the rod is sticking up the short shifter rather is shifting up through the car and you have to zip tie that silver piece. You want to screw on that silver piece and then put it on backwards, zip tie it. So it comes through like this, like that. That's how you want it to look. And then you are then going to put on the shift knob. And then this uh, completes the short shifter. All right, now after you've put in all the screws, which we still haven't yet, this is what the completed shift knob looks like and this is why we have the short shifter because in neutral you're supposed to wiggle it but not in first i mean it's a little bit like that but it's a lot shorter of a throw and it feels a lot more notchy it's probably one of the best mods you can probably do to this car but yeah we'll do a pov drive in the next clip all right this is the uh pov drive of the uh, short shifter in action polyurethane bushings for about 40 and for the price I really don't think anything else can beat it but yeah I'll link everything down in the description and thanks for watching